You wanna so try to cut them open? I have no idea where I would start with that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jason Baker, and welcome to Meals and Mansions by Listed, a show where we visit iconic neighborhood restaurants around New York City, and then I'll recreate these signature dishes in some of the most luxurious private kitchens New York has to offer. Today, we're gonna be checking out restaurant Marc Forgione, where acclaimed chef Marc Forgione has made an iconic neighborhood dish in his spicy chili lobster on Texas toast. It's really amazing. Then we're gonna go to the Sirhant house and recreate this dish. Let's go. Here we have Chef Marc Forgione, and we're at his restaurant. I just wanted to know a little bit about, first of all, your iconic neighborhood dish, the chili lobster on Texas toast. Like, where did you come up with this? What is the background? You know, I was messing around one day and, you know, kind of looking at a lobster and like, how could we do this? Like, and I think the first rendition was like, oh yeah, we'll have, I'll have him rip the lobster apart, which I thought would get a little messy. <laughs> you know, I have to give credit where credit is due. You know, the Texas toast came from Fatty Crab. I thought it was such like a, really yeah, it was such a cool well. like play on the whole buns at, in, in Singapore. Yeah, and it's, it's just been one of these dishes that kind of uh, took on a life of its own. Um, Sam Sifton from New York Times like fell in love with it, so I'm sure other chefs will tell you like if you get the right person to fall in love with the right dish, they'll take it with them and you know, he, he loved it and continued to write about it and tell people about it. And You've been a mainstay in this neighborhood for so long. I mean, what was it about like the character or love of the neighborhood that brought you here and led you to open so many establishments? I turned the, the corner, came walking down the street, and I saw like, you know, this beautiful porch and like these tables out there. And lo and behold, you know, I looked at the thing and it was 134 and I looked up and I was like, it's not about becoming, you know, a millionaire or buying a yacht and having a mansion somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we, we get in this business to, because we love cooking, we love restaurants. But the most important part, I guarantee you, you can talk to any chef who cares about what they do, it's, is the employees that work in that restaurant. And I think that's something that, you know, gets lost. If you want us to make you one, brother? Time to try the dish. Let's check it out. Here we go, look at that sauce. For the pieces of the lobster, you can just go in and you kind of want to mix a little bit of the Texas toast in the sauce. Put a little bit of lobster on that and then take a bite. It's even better than I remember. It's so good. So spicy, it's such a complex sauce. It really has a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of sweetness, and then you have like a little bit of bitter from like your typical like Southeast Asian lemongrass sauce. One thing that's really cool is they give you these little uh, lemon water uh, dipping trays for your fingers because it's a very messy dish. So it can get a little messy, um, but you want to get every last piece of that delectable lobster out of there. There we go, look at that. So let's dip that, a little bit more bread. I implore you guys, if you're in the neighborhood, come check him out. He's a rock star chef and it's an amazing restaurant. Seriously, every dish is incredible. And this was your chili lobster with Texas toast. And as you can see, clean plate club here. We're gonna go recreate this dish tomorrow at Sir Hint House. Let's wrap it up, let's go. Here we're at Center Seafood in Soho. It's one of the biggest lobster farms and the only lobster farm that I know of in New York. There must be literally thousands of lobsters here. Big boy, two to three pounds. Now that we got five pounds of lobster, let's go back to the house and cook it up. Oh. Lobster, anyone? Oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sirhan house where we'll be cooking the spicy chili lobster on Texas toast. Today I have one of my influencer friends with me, Dara Pollock, Skinny Pig NYC. Hello, hello. hello. Green wave, yes, green wave. Yes, hello. hello, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, so here we have some lobsters, Dara. I know yeah, that your uh, favorite are shrimp heads, but oh my God. these are quite terrified. big boys. They're the two to three pound lobsters. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna end up sous viding the lobster, okay. but what I need to do first is to drop them in and let them boil for just about a minute. Okay. Go. And it really yeah, only yeah. takes a second here to get them to turn red yeah. uh, to where the skin will separate from the shell. 
Yes, he becomes red. He's a blood. <laughs> you wanna give it a try, Darren? You wanna try to cut them open? I have no idea where I would start with that. <laughs> I think breaking it apart in the tail is gonna be the easiest. Super! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if maybe, yeah, maybe. I think. Are you gonna give it a go? I mean, not really. This I, I are you mean, maybe with? I could try. Try like I, I think know. the middle. If you go for uh, like the middle right there, the see, me I, the meatiest part, and we'll give you the biggest one. Look at that f like Fred Flintstone type. See, wow. I'm afraid that I'm. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna no. hold it. Party, just don't. I smash was gonna my say. Hand. Oh, I did it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there uh, goes that. Blue for real. So the next step here is we're gonna sous vide the lobster tails and claws in a butter, tarragon, and thyme bath. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna layer butter. Okay. Interesting. Now it's stuck to the bottom. Oh no. <laughs> a little bit buttery water. Yep. Um, and then you wanna put a little bit in there on okay. this side. Like that? Yep. All right, so a little more? Just a little more, yeah. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Put. <laughs> I'm sick of butter. You can never have, you can too, never much have too much butter. Honestly, you really can. Especially so. this butter. Now we're gonna seal this. Whoa! Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Science is just incredible. The next step here is we're gonna sous vide the lobster. 120 is the temperature that they recommend doing lobster. And it's a low temperature. And you can cooking. just do it manual as well. Yeah. And yeah. The whole point of this sous vide is to kind of cook it at a very low and slow temperature, similar like, to doing... A, like a slow cooker, but Exactly, but like a slow water. cooker, but in water. Exactly. Yeah. So sous -vide. it's submerged, and here we go. Looks like it's um, minced pretty nicely. Yeah. So we've sous vide both the lobster claw and the lobster tail in a butter, tarragon, and thyme bath for about 20 minutes. We've cut up both garlic, mint, ginger, and scallions, and we're gonna start the sauce. So we're gonna put some canola oil, two tablespoons of canola oil at a medium heat. Scoop situation. Scoop. Yes, there we go, oh, very nice and technique. Sugar. The Excellent, yes. Don't stab Dara, not today. I'm feeling stabby though. <laughs> After that cooks for a few, I'm gonna add the lobster and then we're gonna add the stock as well. It smells so good already. Beautiful. Mm. Am I stirring yes, this if you, around? Yes, if you could, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so we're gonna cook for about one minute and then we're gonna add the lobster stock. Amazing. That's what I okay, like. So we're gonna let this reduce about half. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, whisking in some butter. Again, quality ingredients matter. This is a really good gluten-free, Greek, vegan, small batch sriracha. Ooh. Did not know that they even made such a thing, but small batch sriracha. I was just gonna say the same, but I'm okay with it. One tablespoon of soy sauce as well. Okay. That. That's really looking and smelling fantastic. And then I'm gonna Ooh, yeah. put this back in as well. That's it. Turn the plate to the left. Uh, so with Texas toast, it's traditionally twice as thick as a normal slice of bread. Uh, a lot of places, including this recipe, will recommend the sourdough because it's a sweet and spicy recipe thought that a brioche would be a little bit better. Oh. Beepity boop. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, can we eat now? All right, yes, yeah, so we can. <laughs> and what I'm gonna top it off with, which he doesn't do, is crispy onions. Ooh. I felt like that would be a great textural top to it. Yeah. We did it! We did it! Spicy chili lobster with Texas toast. Uh, I want to eat that Just get sloppy. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Mm. Lobster is so perfectly cooked. I think it came out amazing. We Honestly, it. it really tastes almost equivalent to the restaurant, in my opinion. Yeah, and now uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take this downstairs. All right. All right, see you later. <laughs> Thank you, Dara, for coming in and cooking this spicy chili lobster with Texas toast. Oh. I think it came out pretty damn good. I think everybody in the house agrees. So if you guys like what we did here, um, follow her, Skinny Pig NYC on Instagram. I am Jason Eats, and this is Meals and Mansions. Uh, give us a follow, subscribe, and we'd love to see you for the next episode. Nailed, Nailed it! it. <laughs>